height. So we are gonna be transforming in this video from this to this. Hello guys, it's Xiaomi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be transforming into a IG baddie, ABG, Asian baby girl. I don't know who came up with that. I'll show you how to catfish. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the hydrating primer from Benefit. This is the new primer. I love their original one because it's pore filling. It makes my pores look flawless. I think this is good for like the winter. Okay, so next up is foundation and this is what I actually like to do with foundation. So I've been loving the Marc Jacobs seamless foundation brush recently and I like to clean it before I start my makeup. I just spray some alcohol and then I just clean it on a towel. It's always important to sanitize your brushes before you use it so that we don't put any bacteria on our faces, meaning less spots. The foundation I've been loving recently is this one by Beauty Blender. It's their Bounce Foundation and I'm in the shade 3.25. Also, by applying foundation with a brush first, it prevents your foundation to caking up because it's kind of like layering a cake. So you put on the first layer and then you blend it in with a beauty blender. This way you can layer your foundation more evenly and it avoids it being cakey. It's a little bit paler than my face, but we'll sort that out with bronzer. And then this one is the new Beauty Blender, and it's called Wet Me. And this one is so cool because it changes color. It changes color whenever you put it in hot and cold water when you put it in hot water it turns blue and when you put it in cold water it turns like a purple next up is concealer i'm using the born to glow concealer from nyx cosmetics and this one is their new one and i like this because it has a little velvet sponge applicator thing at the tip so i'm just putting this on the places where i want to highlight which is this area of my face the tip of my nose around here and also there. I'm just gonna start to blend that I'm also blending it up here on the temples to give it like a kind of look and my guide is to follow the end of your eye and then bring it up to have the effect as though your eye has been pulled up A little pale. Okay, so to contour, I'm gonna use the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer again by NYX Cosmetics, and this one is in the shade Cappuccino. Also, a trick that I've learned from a makeup artist is to kind of like follow the top of your ear and then bring it down, and that's how you get a chiseled look. So around here, and then bring it down and just stop right there. And I also like to add it on the temples to really bring in that chiseledness. And then this makeup brush changed my life. Honestly, this one is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Complexion Brush. And it's got two ends to it. It's got this side, which is a bigger version. And then this side, which is a smaller version. And it just blends your concealer like a dream. It is amazing. I saw this brush from Roxette Arisa. Arisa? I saw her using it and she was saying how it's just amazing at blending concealers for contour and mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh my God, I need to try it. And then I did try it and I never looked back. So I just like to blend that concealer with the smaller end first and just twirl it around. And it does look scary right now. It looks like I've got like a helmet on. But it'll work out in the end. Don't be afraid. Just go, go, go. And then I grab the other end, which is a thicker end, and I just start to blend in that contour in circular motions and then bring it in. 
and then I go back and forth with the beauty blender and these two as a combo of blending face creams face creams cream products is just amazing okay I think I've got a little bit too much I look sunburnt let me just add a bit more concealer up in there and you just want to keep blending just keep blending when in doubt just just blend and then I'm gonna set my face. I'm just gonna use the Laura Mercier loose translucent powder and I love this stuff. And I'm gonna just bake underneath my eyes. And then again, I'm gonna bring up that powder all the way up to really lift up that eye. And then I'm just gonna grab more of that powder and swirl it on the lid. I'm starting to sweat. I hope I don't get any sweat patches. I'll be really embarrassing. And then while I bake, I'm gonna do my brows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the same concealer from NYX Cosmetics. So I just like to get the concealer at the back of my hand and get a really flat brush and then I like to chisel the shape of my brows and then I'm using the Benefit Cabrow in not Cabrow sorry the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade 4 I did get microblading and it never faded. Like there's still a little bit left look. Like I literally looked like a bald eagle before I got microblading done, but you can still see a little bit of that shadow, which I'm not complaining by the way. I mean, if it's gonna stay there forever, then you can stay there forever. Also, I have this weird gap in my brow. I don't know if you can see. It never gets filled in. What it is, is basically when I was a kid, I had an accident. I fainted and then I fell on concrete. <laughs> and then the little stones from the concrete went on my brows. So now that I've got like the tail bit and the middle bit, I'm gonna sort out the inner bit. And this is what I really love. This one I've been absolutely enjoying recently. This little brow pencil is from Hourglass and I love it because it's so precise on the end and you can draw on hair strokes super precisely with this and I just like to draw little hair strokes at the beginning of my brows with this stuff and I only use this at the beginning of my brow to save money as well <laughs> so it looks like little hair strokes I wish I had naturally bushy brows. My boyfriend has like really good bushy brows and it's so good because he has a lot of brow hairs. I wonder why men get it good. Like I, don't, I wonder why men get such good brows, such good lashes and girls like me, like why can't it be reversed, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna set my brows with this one. This one is the NYX Cosmetics Brow Mascara in the shade Chocolate. And again, this is my Holy Grail Brow Mascara. I just love the shade of it. And I like to brush my brow hairs up. And then with a flat brush, this one is the P. Louise. P. Louise flat brush. I just like to clean up that concealer underneath the brows. And there you go, my friends. We have a snatched brow. So now I'm just gonna clean up that bake using this Sigma Spotlight Duster in F37. So I just like to pat it and then swipe it. I'm also gonna set that bronze using the Hula Bronzer in Caramel. I just like to gently just Set the edges, not too much, just kind of like, like that. 
I'm going to use the Morphe E3 brush and the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kit. These two shades right here, just that one and that one. And I like to mix it and then smile. And I also like to bring it on my temple a little bit. And then for the nose contour, I'm using that Benefit Hula Bronzer again. And then this Laura Mercier All Over Eye Brush. I just really love this shape because I find that it's perfect for getting into the crevices of your nose. And I like just bring it up to the brow bone as well to really blend that in. And we're done. Just joking. <laughs> I'm getting this Morphe R39 brush and I'm just going to blend out that contour. And then with the MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to bring back that hydration. Ow. <gasps> getting there, but halfway there. <laughs> And then we're gonna highlight and I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics white gold highlight. It's a really nice drugstore highlight. I love it. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm really excited to try this out. This one is the new Huda Beauty Duo Shadows. And what's cool about this is that one side is matte and the other side is metal or foil or shimmery however you want to say it but before that i'm going to be popping on some lenses first and this one is the ttdi lenses in polar lights brown i really love this because they do graded lenses so mine are graded and they do really nice pretty colors especially for dark brown asian eyes Oh my god, okay, no okay, no okay, no okay, no okay. Okay, so to start off with, I'm just gonna use the shade Cashmere Robe. And I'm gonna use the matte shade as a transition. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that at the back of my hand first so that I've got something to work with. Grab a bit of that. So I'm blending it and spreading it at the same time. That is so pigmented. And I didn't even get that much as well. That's so good. I'm gonna grab a, a smaller blending brush. This one is by Sigma E36. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of that brown. And I think with these shadows, you kind of have to work quickly with it as well because it does dry quite quick, but it is really easy to blend. I'm also gonna bring in the same shadow underneath And then with the other shade called Cinnamon Toast, I'm just going to grab it at the back of my hand again. And I'm going to work this in the inner corners and also the outer corners of the eye. And then blending it as I go again. But I'm just going to add a little bit more of that Cinnamon Toast shade in the inner parts. Kind of like a halo white. And then once both eyes are done, I'm going to grab Penthouse Sweet, the first melted shadow that I used. And I'm going to be using the foil side of this. And I want to put it on the center of my lids. So again, I'm going to just put a little bit on my hand first, just so that I have more control of the amount of eyeshadow that I put on. And then using a Sigma concealer brush, yes. I really like the precise flat top of this and then I'm just going to start to concentrate this more in the centre. And I'm also going to bring that up a little bit to the top bit. That's so nice. 
and then I'm gonna grab the same shimmer shade and just put it from the inner corner until halfway. I really love how that turned out. It's just like a hint of sparkle on the eyes, but it's very like, Okay, so for lashes, I'm using this one, the Pretty Little Thing collaboration with Tarty Lashes. This one is Chick Flick and it's really nice because it almost has a winged effect. Oh, I really love those lashes. Okay, so once both lashes are on, we are already looking catfish material. I'm gonna grab this mascara by MAC Cosmetics. I'm just gonna put it on my lower lashes. So I'm gonna use the shade Get Money from the Colourpop Lux Lipstick. So I kind of want it a little bit more nude, so I'm getting this one by Sleek Makeup called Say It Loud and it's like a really nice nudie brown, so I'm going to see how that goes. Because right now it's looking a little bit too red for me. I think that's looking a bit better. So I'm done with the makeup, I'm just going to fix my hair a little bit, get changed a little bit. Now I'm not really good at hair, to be honest, I hate doing my hair so I'm just gonna whack a load of dry shampoo voluminize it a bit and call it a day and there ladies and gentlemen we are ready to catfish and we are done with the transformation <laughs> That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I will see you on my next one.